Cambodians from all walks of life turned out for the long-awaited trial. Among the crowd, survivors of the deadly Khmer Rouge regime, which ruled from 1975 to 1979. I want the court to find justice for everyone who was killed so that they can live in peace in the next life. Hundreds of people packed the public gallery of the courtroom while proceedings were beamed live on television. They were there to witness the three elderly men answer charges of genocide and war crimes committed during the Khmer Rouge's reign of terror. No exceptions were made in the execution of this senseless, brutal crime. Those who resisted were threatened, beaten or shot dead on the spot. On trial, 85-year-old Nguyen Chia, or brother number two to ruthless leader Pol Pot. 86-year-old Iang Sari served as foreign minister, while 80-year-old Q Sampan was the regime's head of state. None of the accused here ever soiled his own hands with blood, but each of them either alone or together, and with others now long dead, set in motion strictly enforced plans and policies which unleashed an ocean of blood in this country. All three deny the charges against them, which are being aired in an independent court. However, defence lawyers have questioned whether the hearing is truly non-partisan, despite a mix of Cambodian and international judges. Now, unfortunately, uh, Cambodian judges in this country are not known for their independence. Missing from the session was the fourth accused leader, Aing Tirit, the regime's so-called first lady and the only woman to be charged by the court. She was ruled unfit for trial last week. Up to two million people, or about one-third of the population, are believed to have been murdered, worked or starved to death under the Khmer Rouge. Nearly 4,000 victims are taking part in the trial, which will hear opening statements over the next four days. Jessica Longbottom, ABC News.